As the temperature increases, the skin sweat glands produce sweat in an attempt to cool the skin. As the human skin starts to experience a first-degree burn, the superficial epidermis is injured. This injury causes inflammatory mediators to be released from cells within the immune system. These mediators cause the skin's blood vessels to dilate or expand, allowing more blood flow to the skin's surface resulting in redness. They also affect the skin's nerve endings making the skin extremely sensitive. This is commonly seen in sunburns. Blisters are common in superficial second-degree burns. These blisters are caused by capillaries in the dermis leaking fluid which pushes and lifts the epidermis. As temperatures continue to increase, the skin experiences a deep second-degree and third-degree burn. Pain fibers are destroyed resulting in the loss of sensitivity to touch. Hair follicles and sweat glands are also destroyed. Soon the skin will become pale as the proteins within the skin coagulate and the coagulated skin takes on characteristics similar to leather. When that happens, the skin dies and requires surgical grafts to close the injury.